191 deaths, more than 6,000 wounded, and more than 15 billion in damages. These are the casualties and losses caused by the tragic explosion of 2,750 tons of ammonium nitrate at the Beirut port. Who do these tons of explosive material belong to? Investigations concluded that a shipment of ammonium nitrate arrived at a Beirut port in 2013 on board a ship belonging to a person who obtained a loan from a Tanzanian bank. The bank is considered a front for Hezbollah's money laundering, supported by Iran. From 2013 to 2014, Hezbollah received shipments of 670 tons of ammonium nitrate. One of the shipments traveled across the Syrian border with the help of the Assad regime. In addition to the Beirut port, intelligence reports revealed that Hezbollah uses at least 28 other sites, including urban areas, soccer fields, and what appear to be grocery stores to store rockets sent to them by Iran through Syria. Hezbollah hides Iranian explosives and weapons in protected homes in urban areas that fall under its control throughout Lebanon and Syria, therefore using the civilians as human shields against any attack. Hezbollah also established weapon factories under urban buildings inhabited by tens of families south of the capital Beirut. Hezbollah did not limit the storage of Iranian weapons to Lebanon and Syria. For several years, tens of tons of explosive materials were seized in Hezbollah members' homes and warehouses in several states, including Thailand, Cyprus, Kuwait, Britain, Bolivia, and Germany, which designated Hezbollah a terrorist organization.